Hello everyone, Tinker here, and I'm going to do a tour of the Jakey House community build on Happy Town. Uh, this is a community build that we did for fun one day, that started up one day and has been slowly growing over time as people wish to add to it. What we did is that we took the basic build of the Jenky House Blueprint, which is right here in front of me, and we told people to personalize it, have a little bit of fun with it, and try to show off a little bit maybe of your personality or your likes of, of different blocks and that in the game. So the only rule we had with this is that you had to keep it a janky as much as possible for the basic part of the house, but you could change the roof, you could do what you wanted to the landscape directly around the house. So as I go through, I'll be hopefully not murdering anyone's names too badly. So here we have one that was done by Mac. Uh, you can see that he put the entire house on its side. Um, if we take a look inside, you can even see that he did put everything sideways. Then we have this one here that's on a pedestal. I do not know who built it, as they forgot to put their name on the sign. And as we go around the outside of the entire village, we have this one by Arali. And some of us have more than one spot that we did some small builds in. Here's one that Echo did. That's just a small hub spot. And if I come around the pigsy cage, we have this one that was done by Spellfox. And as you can see, for the most part, when you look inside, it's uh, just been customized for the houses. The outside will keep the basic uh, box style of the janky and size of the janky. So here's one that was done by Echo, uh, all in lava. As we go up the hill, uh, we have basically a house that looks like patchwork until you realize that it's actually Tetris blocks. So this house, um, as the last piece is being slid in, was done by Bree. Uh, then we have one by, done by Dothi. Uh, this one did have a thing in it at one point, but he's gone wandering off on us again. So we'll have to go look for him at some point. Then down here we have a house done by Auntie Linz. Uh, the joke with this uh, this spot was that there was a line of pigsies that would come in all the time over here. So what I did to show why the pigsies were showing up was to do a small garden of some uh, mysterious plants that the pigsies may like that um, was being sold off at Auntie's house. So, up the hill here we have a house that's made out of quite a bit of flowers and this one was done by Aviel. I'm sorry again if I'm mispronouncing the names. So, House of Flowers then we have this house here, with a little setup up top, and this was done by whoops by Tech God, and I keep falling off. Sorry for that. Uh, so magnetite uh, for the, ma the main part of the build. Um, I am sorry if I keep falling off of the cliffs. This is a very hilly area, and we did not modify it uh, that much. We tried to keep it as natural as possible. 
Um, here we have one that was done by um, Real Grum, who was the person who started up Happy Town. And I'll take the short route by fling as I start to finish off my outside circuit. Here's one uh, done with Lumites by Bunny. And then we have our floating house done by Geophone. And we have another Lumite house, in this case it's by Lefty Gen, and of course, well, what do you know, it says that it's a trampoline, so if we go inside you'll see that we can bounce around on the goo that you put inside. Fun for everybody. Then the last one that we have on this part, on the outside part of the tour, is EBZ's small house of glass. Then, if we head over the bridge, I'll start up on this one over here and go around. We have Tank who made one look like a mushroom. We have a true patchwork house of various blocks that was done by. Axel Trinity. Then lots of iron uh, blocks for one of Twizzle's houses. Then a sort of Roman Romanesque build done by PMA. As we continue around on the island, we have a house made completely of bee, beeswax and some leaves. A little bit of uh, thatch, thatching on the bot on the for the floor. And this one was dead, done by Matt, uh, Matt Amanda. Then we have an adobe and iron house over here that was done by Saranith. With a glass roof. Then we have Era's treehouse. If I remember correctly, this was actually a sapling that he built on top of it and added to it to make it look like the house was always part of the tree. And continuing along this way, we have a house done by Annie, where when you look at the top, we have a small patio gazebo style top for you to relax at. And then, of course, last but not least, is we come around the corner of the island and this is the swamp janky that I did myself and where I added in some bog water so we have have a little bit of a, a little bit of a swamp going here built the tree and made the house out of weep wood to give it that nice swampy feel so hope you enjoyed the tour and I will see you in the next video tinker out